Hello, everyone. We're going to give Facebook a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds to make sure everybody understands that I'm on. And I know there's been a delay, but it can't be helped because it's just been a crazy morning and I couldn't get everything working. I'll be right back. Just a second. I'm back. Sorry about that. I completely forgot to unlock the door for the mailman. Anyway, morning, Suzanne. Sorry about the delay. I had some issues with the electronics. I was going to put the rows together today, but unfortunately, we're going to have to hold off on that today, too, because it's been crazy. If you haven't had a chance to look at Facebook or... Um, email we had a fabric explosion yesterday so on top of it being the first day i was open for a quilter's trek i had oh close to 50 bolts something like that um delivered two deliveries i was not expecting at all and it was a little bit crazy so i got the boxes empty we got rulers we got patterns um i have what i think is going to be my next year's block of the month i'm still reviewing it and it it was just plain crazy i got westerly rulers we got patterns it's just nuts okay hold on and i'll give you an idea what we're working on today today we're gonna have block 41 and 42 but yeah it was nuts i spent about four hours yesterday morning doing nothing but packaging orders which included all of the um pre-orders on my row by row kits. It was kind of crazy. Just crazy. And then I spent last night um, trying to put, I got some of the fabric online, not all of it. I'm hoping to finish the rest of it today, depending on what kind of craziness is gonna happen today. Went to use my iron this morning. Apparently somebody else used it and got it all yucky. So that was fun having to clean my iron, which is why I'm gonna redo a few blocks because I don't know if they can come clean after that. But I'm like, whatever. Okay, let me put lay this down and then we'll get started on our first block. This is block. 41 and I had to switch the camera to you from the event because I had it on the new machine when I was doing the event it's been like weird it's been absolutely crazy okay hopefully you can see this this is block um block 41 and all I did was I started with 
this part here, just doing these two pieces together. So what I think how I'm gonna do this is just like this. So I'm gonna sew this piece here. Um, and let me think. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think I'm gonna do these four pieces first and then we'll sew these on and maybe not. No, I think we're gonna do it, let's see. Sometimes this is the hardest part, you know, trying to figure out how to put the blocks together so that they work. So let's see. <laughs> I think, I think that'll still work. Actually, mm -hmm. actually, I got this wrong. So this is how it goes. Et this way see that's why you gotta lay them out because if not you want to have a boot boot okay that's how i'm gonna do it so we're gonna do these together in four little sets so we're gonna put these together and i'm gonna chain piece that's why you always lay it out even when i'm teaching the beginners class um you lay the block out when you're done with sewing pieces together and you're eyeing them, you put them back down so you don't get confused in the same way. The more you see the layout, the easier it is for you to not make a mistake. And it's difficult just getting my gear switched after everything that's been going on. It's kind of crazy. It's been a whirlwind. An absolute whirlwind. Today is Stitchy and Beach Day. And I already got some people coming in, so it should be a fun day. I redecorated all the windows. If you haven't had a chance to see that, I did send pictures out, but it always looks so much better in person. Honest, it really, really does. Let's see, let's do this. I'm actually liking the windows. Not that I don't always like the windows, but I really, really, really like my under the sea window. So now we're gonna sew these together. Just a reminder, I'm using a scant quarter of an inch. Oh, my needle can be threaded. When you have a lot of stitching in a small block, um, I find that the scant quarter of an inch, just it's going to make the block bigger than you actually need, but then you can cut it down. And then you're guaranteed to have the right size block.
All right, now I got to iron these and we'll have our four little squares to sew together for one ball. Now we'll start working on the next one, which is pretty fast too. So let me just iron these. Did everybody have a good weekend? Kind of crazy. Um, I was here pretty late on Saturday to get the rest of the windows done. So I could take a day off on Sunday. Yeah. Monday was another crazy day. I'm not open, but I was in here pretty early trying to get a few things finished. And then I had to take my father for an emergency dentist appointment. Kind of messed up the day. Of course, now that's all we can talk about. I did not like the dentist. He never likes to go to the dentist, but it was necessary, beyond necessary. How many of you are quilting, doing the quilters track this year? I've already bought some kits and I'm buying more. So, trust me when I tell you, Abaton, I like them too. All right, this one's ready to sew together. Me too, Suzanne, I was tired. I didn't get out of here until about 9.30 um, Saturday night. And um, I was hurting, and I do mean hurt. Even with the help of my daughter to help me with um, my displays, I still was up and down the ladder a lot. And it was not, not even a little bit. I went home and had to ice my knees for a good portion of Saturday night. And before I could actually relax and go to sleep, it was a rough one. But they really do look good, even if I do say so myself. That is the mailman, hopefully. Yep, mailman. The only reason I know is because the door was open quick and closed. Now, all we're gonna do Sew them together. As usual, um, I'm trying to nest my seams. That means is we've got the seam on top going one way and the seam on the bottom going another way so that they nest together nice and Sometimes required fabric the opposite way that you originally ironed it, just so that you can. If I talk too much or lose track of what I'm doing, that's what happens. And let's see, I'm just going to put it in one side of the seam. Other side, you can see I do them on an angle because I'm going to be sewing from this way. So that way I can stop in my seam with my needle down before I take my pin out. 
really works for me. Should give it a try. It's just something that I found over the years works best. Because too many times I get my seams lined up nice and neat and everything's great. And just the the um, task, just the idea of pulling the pin out is enough to misalign my seams. Here we go. Voila. All right, now we're going to move on to block 42, which is super simple. Okay. So we've got the top row, the middle row, and the, the bottom row. All I'm going to do is sew these together and then put the rows to sew the rows together. Super, super easy. And I am going to do a little bit of chain stick piecing. Now, if you're not doing this, making the scissors and you're actually doing the other layout, color fabric is gonna be different for you. I am actually doing the scissors layout. So that's why my fabric are in these colors. I probably should have done the other one of the other layouts since I already did the scissors, but I figured this way I can um, quilt one of the quilts and then use it as a sample to actually quilt the other one. At least that's the idea. Whether that truly happens is a different story. That's what I plan. I'm hoping that it will work. It's just a matter of getting everything. I need a little bit of uh, boring in my life right now. It's just too much going on. All right, so now we're just gonna sew these on and this one on, and then we'll be ready to put our rows together. Oh, so this is this is a simple block. Most of these blocks are pretty easy. They're really, a, it's a great pattern to hone your skills and get better at your seam allowance and your quarter of an inch or a scant quarter and um, looking at blocks and figuring out the best way to put them together. Not to mention, I love the way the scissors look. And they go right along with my Stitch Happens sewing machine. All right. Let's see. Just ironing my seams so that I can line them up and mess seams. I got, let's see, what did we get? Oh my God, in the last, just yesterday alone, we received tons of Disney um, holiday, Halloween, Christmas, regular Disney, Star Wars with Baby Yoda for Christmas and Halloween. It, we got Pearl, which I wasn't expecting. Um, you know, most companies give me a, an invoice 
let me know that they've shipped. And lately, I'm getting more and more surprises. I got two surprise shipments yesterday, which were like three different lines. So makes it a lot harder to plan. Now this one doesn't have any seams. So I don't know why I was worried about as far as lining them up, doesn't have any. So that makes it even easier to sew. There we go. There's block 42. All right. And I promise, hopefully next week, we'll put the, our next row on, which is the fourth one. It's just been crazy. So, 41. And 42. All right, the ships have come in. Are you talking about the fabric line? That came in last week. Sail away, our second shipment. Are you talking about at the port? Oh, you're talking, I bet you you're talking about the port and all everything getting delivered. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Every time I think that they've got all the deliveries, you know, on time again and backup is all set, something throws a monkey wrench. And I think they were, I think what Suzanne is talking about, we had a bunch of ships in, in, uh, off the coast, California, and a few other places waiting to come in with tons of stock. So now everybody's getting kind of caught up a little bit. And I'm not going to count on that being um, permanent because every time I do something happens and it gets all crazy again. But that's where I think we got a lot of shipping then. And I do mean a lot. All right. If that's it, yes. Exactly, Suzanne. That's it. I got a bunch of other stuff to get working on. And hopefully, maybe if I'll have a surprise video sometime this week to put the throws together if I get a slow evening or morning. Um, spent about four hours yesterday doing all of my shipments and packaging. So yesterday was definitely not the morning. <laughs> but... That's it for now. Unless anybody has any questions, you know where I am. If you need me, um, feel free. All right. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye.